Welcome to the vlog. Today I figured I would start off with what this video is not. This is not a full and comprehensive review of a production juice board, because I'm not allowed to do that yet. What this is, is a quick retest of a production quality juice board against the old pre-production one that I tried out before. Let's get to testing. We're here. We're gonna test three aspects of the production juice board today. Acceleration, hill climb, top speed. These three tests will be performed in more or less the same conditions that I performed my last tests in my last video. Speaking of which, does this look familiar to you? Because this is the exact area where I did my first official acceleration test with a pre-production juice board. This is acceleration test. This is a production juice board. All right, test one, acceleration, let's do it. I know this isn't very scientific, but the camera angles are very similar, and in this photo finish, you can see that the pre-production board takes longer to leave the frame than the production board. So, in this very rough test, I give it to the production board just by a hair. All right, on to our next test, hill climb. This hill behind me is the exact same hill that I wrote up in my previous video. Take a look at this hill right here. I don't know if I can really portray it. I'm not getting a running start. I am starting from pretty much the bottom of the hill. It's a pretty decent little incline here. Let's see what we got. Now, if you'll remember, I believe that I had to get 20 feet of run up before I could make it up this hill. 10 feet, still not enough. Try 20. Everything the same as last time, as close as I can get it. I mean, I'm not Mythbusters. This is the Hill Test production board with no run up, just at the base of the hill, starting off in high mode. One and done, that's easy. Like, no run up at all. The production board beats the pre-production board hands down. This thing is crazy. And I can definitely say from personal experience that this thing rides hills like way, way better. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get hit by bikers. I gotta get out of here. All right, on to the next test. Last test here is a top speed test. I've got a nice, long, flat section of road here, downtown Red Deer. This is a nice, easy path. As you can see, this road doesn't get too busy and it is pretty much dead flat. So it's a great place to test the top speed of the board. I got a few blocks where I can get it up to full max speed. I realize using Snapchat for my speed isn't the most scientific method of testing, but none of these tests have been super scientific. And I think it's gonna give us a good rough ballpark of the speed that the board is going. Where does that leave us? 
Obviously the production boards better than the pre-production ones that I was testing. This bad boy beats the pre-production in acceleration. It's better at climbing hills, uh, like way better, and the top speed seems to be like four or five kilometers faster than the pre-production boards. So all in all, yeah, in these three tests, the production board is a huge improvement over that pre-production thing. And this isn't even technically a production board. Like this is the same board I've been riding the whole time. They just put uh, the new production parts inside of it. When I get my production board, which is from the production factory and is truly production, then you will see a full, hands-on, 100% production board review. And I will be excited to show it to you because if this is any indication of the quality, it's, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So that's about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This summer of having this juice to play around with has been amazing. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. My name is Jeff Wood. You might know me as Milta1034 and I'll see you next time.